the opening week of the Bunnings NPC, and we greet you from Rugby Park in Invercargill, where the 2021 champions, Waikato, are away from home against Southland. And let's have a look at the stags as they line up. They'll need the front row of Walsh, Payne and Morgan Mitchell to set the platform to compete. Equally in the engine room, the experience of Josh Beckwith will be vital. In the Lucy's, the hard-running South African Dylan Nell at number eight is a strong ball carrier. The back line is under control from the halves Jay Renton and Greg Dyer. Hyden to Scott Gregory, back for his second season with the Stags, starts at second five. A very capable back three, led from the 15 jersey, Roy Van Voot. The bench, keep an eye out for the very promising hooker Jack Taylor and of course the skills and knowledge of Marty Banks. Waikato last season knocked out at the quarter-final stage. They were the defending champions. And their coach, Ross Filippo, has named a powerful combination for his season opener. He's got uh, super rugby props, George Dyer and Aidan Johnston. A ton of experience in the middle row, Hamilton Burr, James Tucker, while Mitch Jacobson leads the loose forward trio. Cortez Ratama gets the start at halfback and links with one test all black, Josh Iwani. Quinn Tupaya finally overcome his major injury and returns to join Rampling in the midfield while there's excellent back three of Cook Savage, Sullivan and Sinkinson and good impact off the bench. Now Gregory, is he going to find a bit of grass, is he? Yes, he is. But nicely done by Cook Savage. And he got his pass off to Balin Sullivan too. And Sullivan striding down towards the 22. Nice tackle on him though by Danny Drake, the lock forward. And the ball delivered. And Waikato looking pretty good out here. Here's uh, Tupai, slings the pass, and finally it goes to Gideon Rampling inside the 22. Ratama looking for quick ball again. Open side flanker, Jacobson. Now the long pass across to James Tucker. Long early sequence of play here. Sinkinson threatening close to the line now Ratima and wide for Sullivan and into the corner goes Malaki Rampling and Waikato have made the best possible start just over two minutes gone and the blindside flanker Malaki Rampling scores the opening try here got the bounce of the ball he took it really well attacked it set Bale and Sullivan away beat the first defender that then got mowed down at the back and then they started to phase Waikato until they got to this point. Really nice shift on again from Cook Savage who featured prominently and Balin Sullivan and in goes Rampling for Waikato's first try early doors. Now the ball snapped up by Inayasu the prop and at least the hooker and they're making really good inroads here. Here he goes again the hooker and he crashes over no defence at all and uh, Pitta Enai Asu has scored Waikato's second try, and it's only five minutes gone. This breakdown here, he's first man on the spot. Latimer was here, he just bounced out of the way, and Pitta Enai Asu picked it up. He carried a couple of tacklers with him, too strong. Met by the Waikato defence, carried up by Danny Drake in the number four jersey. Morgan Mitchell, one of the more experienced players in the team. And they've got a penalty advantage yeah, here, Southland, advantage so they're the finally getting their hands on the ball. Here's Scott Gregory, thrown down in a pretty good tackle as it comes to Renton again. Now Dyer gets it off, and boy, that Waikato defence is up. Yeah, poor old Hamilton Burr here was a wee bit unlucky. He just had the prop fall on top of him, and he just couldn't quite get out. First kick for him of the season and guides it through nicely. So Southland are on the board after 12 minutes. Now Ratama works it across to Ioani. And there's an offside call here against Jay Renton. So he'll play this penalty advantage as long as possible. Ioani jabs it through and oh, it's been grabbed too. And off it goes to Ratama and he's got a straight run in. Just like that, Waikato have struck again. You never know after the bounce where it's going to end up. Oh, absolutely. And it was a bit of a Hail Mary play from Josh Iwani, but it sat up perfectly. Really good chase forward. Nice offload to Ratama. 
And yes, absolutely, when you're playing at an advantage, if you roll the dice, sometimes it come off, and this time, absolutely, it did. Good, strong carry here, and he's got a lot of support, too, as they go to ground just short of the line. Now Tucker works it away, and a chance for Sullivan. Oh, I don't think he got it down. I think we'll just check that. Well, with the over that, so we've got on field try. We just want to check that grounding, please. No, he's not grounded that. Thank you. No try. Knock on. Funga away for Ryle. Oh, the ball's fallen loose. And they've turned it over here. And Rampling frees it up for Sullivan. And off he goes, Balin Sullivan. And Rutterman's going to get two. Just stayed in support after the strong run by Balin Sullivan. And Cortez Rathna does it again. Look at the ball work there, holding it, playing with it, and then eventually getting it to the man, Balin Sullivan, who put the foot down. And it was tacklers trying to hang on to him, and they were the last resort. Van Voot is one of them, and Ratamit went over untouched. Now Southland really piling in, Beckuous. And Waikato offside, Nell standing over the ball, gets it off again. No, pulls it out. Now it's been snapped up by Hayden Michaels. Manage offside. The open side flanker, another offside. Now they go wide and uh, off to Manson, and he scores. Southland's first try of the season, Michael Manson, who's looked really good. Stayed patient, they had three, four, five digs close to the line. Penalty advantage after penalty advantage, and then when the time came to execute, Greg Dyer, the skip out pass, put it right on the money. Still had some work to do, though. Did Michael Manson had to get rid of Cook Savage, but did that and finished in style. Taylor now. So a penalty advantage here coming the way of Southland. Dyer holds it up. The siren has just sounded. And that's for half time. So well, they might just decide the three here. And up it goes, and over it goes. So two penalty goals by Dyer in the half. But uh, Waikato basically have dominated. And they do lead at the break here at Rugby Park in Invercargill by 26 points to 11. OK, so here comes Southland again. Line out one by Blair Ryle. Waikato holding up OK at the moment. Taylor. Holding it in the back. Can okay, use, please? Stop now he has to slip it to Renton. And the short pass. Funga nice. almost got through, and Finney. <laughs> Wait, at least Southland get their second try. And aren't they delighted? Great try. Perfectly done, too. Finney off his shoulder. Matt Funga did a great job here. Look at this for an offload. Absolutely spot on. And both players just hitting at a pace. Great try. That's Renton. Midfield Becuous. Who's there? Right away for Gregory. Good footwork too. He managed to evade a tackle. Here's Mitchell. Nice slow build up and they've got this penalty advantage. Now for Wood, goes on a bit of a yeah, run. Easy. 10 metres from here. Mitchell Push, Morgan taking it up. Great tackle, yeah, boy. Tucker right around the boots, but just not rolling away. Getting caught, really. So now Dyer. Julie bangs it through, and all of a sudden, there's only five in it now. Waikato being forced to defend a lot in the second half. Or another penalty coming. It's an offside. Penalty. Now here's the cross kick from Banks. Finney got up nicely. Got the pass off to Gregory as well. Finney gets it back. So they're still in play. And they're 10 metres away from the line. Now Banks is going to try the other side. Manson. And 
couldn't quite drag it in. And the referee sees no advantage out of that, so Southam will have another shot. It's the right call. They've got to get themselves ahead or, or within, obviously, that penalty kick leading in to the micro minutes of this game. And oh, unfortunately, dude. he's kicked it too far. Marty Packs. Sit! So when it goes from row, Waikato applying a little bit of extra pressure there. Rampling gets it away. Sullivan, they're going to run this out, and they're doing a good job so far. As it goes out to the left wing for Sinkinson. Ball left behind, though. And in fact, it's been knocked on. But they did a really good job. I mean, that was from inside their own 22 to just simply run it out. Busting through the initial tackle. So Rowe clears it out again. Haven't scored at all in the second half. Waikato. They've got an advantage. And here comes a drop crack from Kemera. And it's off the side of the boot. I would have thought a drop kick at goal was advantage. Justin, just between you and me. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. I think we've come up with two ways to uh, improve the game. Yes. This afternoon, mate. With but my, wait, there's my more. one in the end goal. And <laughs> your, yeah, there is. It always is. Yeah. Keep going, lads. You're doing a great job. Thanks very much. We could be here all night. <laughs> I think one of the great rugby cliches, Justin. Both teams have got a bit to work on. They have. This is definitely a game of two, two halves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Right, here's uh, Kimmerer with this last penalty, and he's nailed it right down the middle. And uh, that is the final whistle as well. So a late penalty goal, and uh, Waikato scored their only points of the second half in the 80th minute, and they've come up with a victory by 29 points to 21.